Family torn apart by a missing person turned murder cases forced to relive their grief now. Hello, I'm Jim Dunaway. I'm Sherry Jackson. Only on CBS 42 News, a woman talks about learning that her father is a confessed killer and the life he took is her stepmother. CBS 42 News reporter Jamie Ostroff joins us now. And Jamie, all of this is connected to the two-year disappearance of Paula Wuster. That's right, and uh, I want to talk about this young woman, Eden Abercrombie. I first met her seven months after her stepmother, Paula Worcester, went missing. At the time, Eden told me all she wanted was closure. Well, when I went to visit her today, the reality was still sinking in. Visibly exhausted. It caused you to lo lose a lot of sleep at night. Two years of painful memories raced through Eden Abercrombie's mind, punctuated by one tragic revelation. It's like a piece of our heart was taken. Me and Peyton, we lost two parents. Abercrombie is Joey Poe's biological daughter, but she says she was much closer to her stepmother, Paula Worcester. She was very kind-hearted, and all she wanted to do was love him and him love her back. Since Worcester went missing two years ago, Poe went to prison on unrelated charges. He got out two weeks ago, confessed to the murder, and told investigators where to find the body. We knew and we felt in our hearts that he did it. We just didn't want to believe it. For Abercrombie and her family, this is an answer to the big question that's been plaguing them for so long. I think his conscience finally built up. I don't think that he wants to be in the real world where he has responsibilities. But before Poe was booked into the Jefferson County Jail Monday, he called his daughter. Now there are only more questions. And he tried to apologize and I just kept asking him why he did it. And the only thing he could tell me was that it was the drugs. But through this ordeal, Abercrombie says she's had at least one moment of clarity. I sat outside for a while and I just looked up and it's like the brightest star just started shining and I just talked to her like she was still sitting right beside me and she's resting and she's in a better place than the rest of us and she's finally happy. We just wish she was here with us. Paula Worcester's family is going to come together this weekend to hold a vigil. It's going to be held at the old 6 p.m. The address, 2518 Rose Drive. That's in Morris. Jimmy Ostroff, CBS 42 News.